Now that we have covered our basics, it is now time to dive deep and create a full real world web API. We will be building a web API that manages the walks and trails of New Zealand. By using this API, the client of this API would be able to create, read, update, delete walks, regions, or the difficulty for these walks. Let me explain you a bit more about the domain of our API. The most important thing in our domain will be the walk over here. Walk will have a few properties and when it comes to a database, it will have a few columns. The walk domain model will have an ID, which will be a unique identifier. And because we are using C sharp, we will use a type of GUID. This will not be nullable. That means it will always have a value. Then we will also have the property of name, which will be the name of the walk. This will be of type string and this will also hold a value. Then we will have a brief description about the walk and that will be of type string as well. Then we will have the length of the walk in kilometers and that will be a type of double. That will also be non nullable. After that, we want to store the image of the walk as a URL and that will be of type string and this will be an optional field. That means in the database, it will be nullable. After that, we want to have the region of this walk or that means which region has this walk. So we will come to the regions domain model for now. The regions domain model will have a unique identifier for each region. This is similar to how we have the identifier for the walk. So this will be ID with the column type of GUID. Then we will have a short code for a region. For example, if it is the Auckland region, the code for the region would be AKL. That will be of type string. Then we will have the full name of the region, for example, Auckland, and we will have the column type of this one as a string as well. And finally, we will also have a region image URL, which will be of type string because we want to store the URL for the Auckland region image, and that will be an optional parameter. So that will be a nullable type. Now walks and regions are connected where we have the region ID inside the walks domain model. So one walk is connected to one region all the time. There will be a difficulty level for each walk. And let's come to the difficulty domain property domain model. So this will be a very simple model with only two properties. One will be the ID which is the unique identifier of the difficulty. And the other one will be the name of the difficulty. For example, easy, medium, hard. Both of them would be non nullable. And the difficulty ID is also connected to the walk because every walk will have a difficulty ID. That means every walk will be identified as either easy, medium or hard. So now that we have information of what we are wanting to build. Let's go back to the API and create the domain models for our application.